Hello, thank you very much for um, coming tonight and listening to me. Um, as we said, we're going to talk about how BP's sustainability reporting is helping to earn back the trust of our stakeholders. Um, as everyone here is probably well aware, um, BP is going through lots of change right now. There are huge initiatives within the company to strengthen safety, to grow value, and particularly to build trust, or rebuild trust, rather. Um, that's the part where corporate reporting, um, we think, can help. Um, with corporate reporting, we can, get a, we can understand what stakeholders expect from, from us. We can try to, to use this information internally to make sure that they understand what external expectations are. And then the last thing is to communicate um, as best we can. And this is as transparent as we can in an accessible language online and in print. Um, probably not yet Twitter and Facebook. So all different channels. Um, I think you could probably say that this is, um, this is pretty much what most um, corporate reporting is for, for any company. Um, BP is clearly in a different situation. We are um, under major scrutiny from NGOs, from uh, peer companies, from the US legal system, from the Gulf of Mexico community. Uh, there are a lot of people looking at our financial and non-financial reporting. So we need to make sure it's, it's the best we can. So I thought I'd look at, talk about three different things. I have a feeling I might run out of time for the, second, the third one. Um, but the importance of online, the, um, one of the, uh, we ran a survey this summer, just in terms of feedback on last year's report. That's another one of the inputs for this coming year's report. As well as the, we had a series of roundtable sessions around the world that, um, to find out stakeholder expectations into next year's reporting. Uh, so first off, online. Uh, this is not rocket science. Uh, the numbers say it all. That we print, uh, we have a 44-page sustainability report, a review. We also have 200 pages online, which we consider part of our sustainability reporting. It goes through the exact same process in terms of legal review, internal verification, and um, external assurance. That's, um, that's bp.com forward slash sustainability and bp.com forward slash, uh, forward slash uh, Gulf of Mexico. So those are, it's key that the Gulf of Mexico section is, um, is assured. So with that, that means online we have a lot more scope to give a lot more information. Um, and we also have the interactive tools, some of which Jim was talking about in terms of you know, HSE data, which allows the user to manipulate it as, as they want. The other thing with, um, with online is just in terms of reaching audiences. Um, with last year's report, which came out in March, um, we've sent out around 20,000 copies of the printed, the printed version. In contrast, we've had 100,000 visits to the sustainability section and 500,000 visits to the Gulf of Mexico section. So we know that we, we can reach people really well through this channel. And the final benefit that we see with, um, with online and with working more and more with this is the ongoing updates is that this allows us um, throughout the year to update um, what BP is doing about sa its safety initiatives, um, what it's doing about um, its human rights work in light of the RUGI announcement, that sort of thing. So it keeps it, keeps it live and going. And again, we go through the same process throughout. It, it's all assured. So that's our true report. It keeps changing. And that's one area that we'll continue to develop um, the, key, the key restriction for us has been resource, um, but we hope to do more there. The next thing I'd like to talk about is uh, the survey we ran last May around the, the report that came out in 2010, our sustainability report. We commissioned GlobeScan and sustainability to, um, to run the survey. We had around 500 responses from sustainability practitioners and experts. Um, and Jim replied, Jim responded, said it was the longest survey ever. Um, but that's, we'll, we'll shorten it this year. We take feedback. Um, but with that, it was asking you know, everybody from NGOs, um, academics, governments to find out their perspectives on our report. So we, we did okay in terms of the, the general aspects. 
so it, uh, the, what I call the kind of the hygiene aspects, that um, they liked the design, they thought the tone of voice was appropriate, which, to be frank, was very difficult um, to, get, to get the right voice. Um, the online usability, those were, those were the positives. But again, this is BP sustainability report. Um, the biggest issue and the biggest challenge was credibility. Um, a quarter of the people responded and said that the, the report was not credible. Um, we feel very comfortable that we, we worked hard to make sure it was factual, accurate, complete, et cetera. But this is the perception. Um, I think for reference, there's a reference that 13% said that they thought it was a credible document. So this is a huge challenge for BP. Um, you know, I like to think it's as much where BP was reputationally in May of 2010 as much as, or 2011 rather, um, as the report. But this is the area that we're working hardest on. And I think another question that we asked the, the respondents is um, to rate how they thought we communicated about BP's um, position and, uh, and performance on core subject areas. And it was interesting for us because uh, stakeholder groups, um, the different stakeholder groups were agreed on some things. Um, they, on the whole, liked the Gulf of Mexico coverage. Um, they, on the whole, did not like the environmental management coverage. It wasn't detailed enough. Um, and that which is appropriate. Um, but where the issues come up is that there were, there were a handful of areas where there was conflicting response. So for instance, um, energy future, which is all about the energy challenge, meeting the energy challenge, uh, climate change, alternative energy, um, academics and uh, corporates said, okay, I understand it. Um, ac uh, I'm sorry, governments and corporates said that NGOs and academics didn't like it at all. So at that point, where do we go? So that this will be another challenge is which stakeholder groups you know, do we work closely, most closely with? And finally, this, um, in October, we did a series of um, what we call kind of sustainability roundtables um, to find out what people were expecting out of, out of our reporting next year. We held these in London, Washington, New Orleans, um, to get to the Gulf of Mexico, and Rio. So I've got my one minute warning. So a variety of people were there, and I think the definitely different perspectives um, were brought forward, as one would imagine, different people, different locations. Common themes, um, people wanted to know about our progress to date. So this is in terms of what's happening with the organization, as well as economic and environmental restoration in the Gulf of Mexico. They want to know what is BP's vision, where, where does BP see itself? Um, what's its role in the world? So what its role in society? Um, all four of the, the workshops asked about employees. They wanted to know, are your employees en engaged? Um, how are they involved in the sustainability reporting? How are they, what is their morale like? We'd like to hear their voices in the report. And then finally, external perspectives that, again, everyone agreed it would help BP if there were external views on, on our reporting. And this is both within the document, so voices you know, responding to what we're saying, and they also recommended maybe a third party forum, you know, having the discussion with the newspaper. So that way, again, much more interesting discussion around our reporting, not just the, the document itself. Um, at that point, I think I'm going to stop. I'm getting the look. Um, I, I just would like to say that I mean we, that we've got a lot of things that we'd like to achieve. We know that there's a lot of you know far way to go to earn back the trust of our stakeholders, and we're committed to delivering it. Thank you. Thank you.